Yo, what is going on guys? Sabretooth here, and first of all guys, just happy Halloween. If you guys are out going trick-or-treating, have fun with that. If you guys are staying home and, you know, handing out the candy, have fun with that, or just scaring the life out of some little kids, but that's kind of besides the point. Today, we are hopping back on Mad Mobile, and we've got jack-o'-lantern packs to open. So you guys knew these jack lanterns opened up today. I got, I think, around like four or five or six, I don't know. Of, I think, uh, 11 different ones. Some of the rare ones I only got two or three of. But unfortunately, there were three that I wasn't able to get because they were just so rare and so extinct that I just didn't want to take the time to find them. I'm sure those were the best rewards. But let's just jump into these things. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys got any of the rare ones and what were inside of them. Maybe a signature player, but I think they might have all been unauctionable. Let me know because there were also, I believe, some most feared legends getting distributed so if you guys got one of those congratulations so starting it off pretty uh boring ones we just got the carnival games probably one of the worst rewards you can get 10 carnival games that's only accounting for half of one of the midway monster players so this if you guys spent your coins on that there we go a legend most feared collectible that's straight up worth like 500,000 coins unfortunately it is unauctionable so it's not going to kill the prices of those on the market but actually what I think this may do is raise the prices on those collectibles a decent bit. So we got three of them already and this seems like a somewhat of a more common reward. That's four. How many of these do we have? That's five. So that's literally, I think that's around maybe a quarter of the way to one of these most feared legends. Six of them. So I think what might actually happen is these prices might actually go up. Because now people are going to be pretty close to these most feared legends. They're going to want to buy off maybe one more collectible to complete them. Actually, those prices may have shot up. So if you guys have any most of your legend collectibles and you're not going for legend, you may want to consider selling it as soon as you can. Now, these are just silver training items and, you know, boosters and locker items and such. Nothing crazy here. You get 25 of them. I don't think that's worth the 30k or whatever you spent for the Jack Lantern. That one was decent. Do we have any more of those? Th that was decent right there. Chad Johnson, we get three of them. Unfortunately, they are unauctionable, but three legend collectibles, that's not too bad either. That's got a value of maybe 300k. Unfortunately, we only had two of those, so I guess that was somewhat of a rarer one, and it makes sense because that's actually pretty good. Rising Star Contracts, I'm sure these are common, and I, I don't really see any order to the way these packs are being gone through. We started pretty bad, had some good ones, now we're back to the bad ones again. But you guys let me know if you got any insane pulls from your Jack Lanterns, because I'm pretty sure they were most feared legends. I'm pretty sure there may have been signatures as well. This is a good one, actually. Unfortunately, they are unauctionable. But three most feared players, that's not too bad. That's got a value of almost 100k. And here's another one. So that's pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any more of those. I think I had two, and I'm assuming that one was somewhat rarer. Yeah, so I did only have two. That's what I thought. 35 coaches. That's not horrible. Unfortunately, I don't actually use Chuck Pagano at all. 43 shot collar stamina booster. I don't even really play that event, so that's a little unlucky, but that's really not too bad. That's a good amount of locker items, and probably the worst one, Nightmare Carousel Horse, three of them. That is just atrocious. If that's the way that my jack lanterns end off, I'm going to be a little disappointed, but I can't lie. I didn't exactly grind to get the rarer ones. I was scrolling through the auction house for probably about 30 minutes on end and just tapping on Jack Lanterns to see if I own them or not. And I couldn't find any of the rare ones. If you guys did, let me know how you did it because I was just wasting a lot of time on that. But I think this is probably the last one. Nightmare Carousel Horse, five of them. I really don't know what else we could have in here. I'm trying to think what some of the other rewards were. But this may actually be the last of our Jack Lanterns. Ending it off with those would not be a great way because unfortunately I don't think we're going to pull any elites here, but you never know, I guess. Maybe we could get lucky with something. Show oh, I actually thought that was an elite something. Showstopper's shard, I'm not too interested in. I'm not really planning on going for any of those. We get a showdown badge. That's pretty bad as well. I definitely don't think that's valued at 30k or whatever these pumpkins are going for. I'm Keep in mind, I'm recording this earlier on in the day, like pretty early. So if these prices on these pumpkins are, I'm guessing the pumpkins most likely are extinct. We get a Marsh on Ladmore, is that auctionable? No, it is not. I wish these cards were auctionable, but anyway, those cards are not too bad, honestly. Jerron Reed, that's decent as well. 
the plus five boosts on those power lines are actually very very solid tj yeldon i assume yeah also an auctionable and no we are not gonna pick up that four dollar offer these one-time offers seem somewhat of a scam by ea honestly but let's go over the marketplace and i just kind of want to check out what most of your jack lanterns are going for because i'm curious if there's any left up on the market now if you guys are watching this it's probably going to be uploaded way later on in the day but if you guys are watching this then i'm actually curious to see what these player prices and the jack lantern prices are going for now so i just want to see what most fears are going for because i'm not sure if these jack lanterns actually drop the price or not because i would tell you guys to buy some of these now and i think they're fairly low you guys can see 1.25 mil for a keep to leave dread zone edition i think these prices are some of the lowest you're ever gonna see for these most feared elites for the rest of the promo now let's look at some of the higher overalls here we see some signatures and some of the bosses i don't know everything looks fairly standard let's go purely signature players because to my knowledge i'm assuming these cards that you guys got if you did were lucky enough to pull a signature were, were unauctionable but i'm just wondering if this shook up any of the prices and it does not appear to be that way all everything seems more or less in order or honestly a bit more expensive hopefully you guys did invest in these signatures if you listen to that advice because even the cheapest tj ward looks like he's going for three mil at minimum so those are pretty good investment hopefully you guys did follow through with that last thing i do want to check out is the most feared jack lanterns now once again keep in mind i really don't even know if there's going to be any of these left on the auction block by the time you guys see this because i feel like people might try to pick up some of these just to take a shot at uh getting one of these better pulls so looks like people are bidding on them for 100k so that's pretty interesting let's see if there's any actually still in the block under 50k even so there are so i don't even know how these are up there because i don't think you can actually sell them anymore these must have been posted maybe last night or something that's kind of crazy yeah so they're all sold if you guys have any jack lanterns there's really no way you can post them anymore so i'm wondering if later on in the day there's going to be bids on these for 100k and that may have been a big missed opportunity i didn't even think about that but if you guys listed up your jack lanterns for a bid of 100,000 coins or a buy now of 100,000 coins even because that's the price cap on these gold collectibles you guys could have made a killing by buying up these let's hop over to the store we do have some new packs full moon bundles that guarantee you these most of your bosses unfortunately it's just a ridiculous price point so I was talking a bit about those bundles, but to be honest, dropping $200 on this game is just not plausible for, I'd say, 99% of the player base. I mean, yes, it's going to drop the 95 overall cards. I'd say they're probably not going to be extinct anymore, but still, that's just an absurd amount of money to spend on this game. But you guys just saw that notification right there. We are going to have some trick-or-treat events tonight, and that looks to be pretty interesting, honestly. In the store, there's no new coin packs. Unfortunately, I thought there might be some pretty kind of dope packs on halloween released for most feared you know but all of them seem to just be mad and cash based which is the way the game's going this year i'm not a fan of it but we just gotta take it how it is so let's just open up these daily packs see if i can hit it with a red and finally pull another elite from these because i have not pulled one from these packs in such a long time now once again if you guys are not doing anything tonight you know obviously it is halloween if you guys are going trick-or-treating you might want to try to log on to mad mobile a bit i don't really know how old my viewer base is if you guys are either going trick-or-treat staying at home you know handing out candy you're at college or you just got home from your job make sure to hop on the game tonight you're gonna want to be grinding out these events nothing else new in the packs so let's go back over there and just take a look at the live event map once again you can see there's nothing on here but there is a new maze this maze is longer it's gonna take more stamina but you are gonna get five dread zone mirror collectibles so if you guys are going for that this is the new maze it's got more events but it's pretty decent honestly and it definitely is worth your stamina if you're going for that rob gronk you guys can see top right we do have the trick-or-treat event that unlocks at 7 p.m eastern time so make sure to log on to the game then five wins gets you a gold most feared 10 wins gets you a four gold most feared and 20 wins gets you a free elite most feared player also every 15 minutes you're gonna get a free trick-or-treat coin pack doubt they're gonna be very good but nevertheless try to get on tonight guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys get some better pulls than i did in those jack lanterns stay hungry stay humble 
And remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.